All right, so now that we have our first icon ready, what I want is to create uh, another icon, which is going to be a font icon. So that means that the background will be green. So I'm just going to duplicate this uh, background element. And then uh, here in the copy, I'm just going to start changing the colors a little bit. So let's go here and maybe this is going to be more like a greenish color and also this is going to be another greenish color but maybe like a little darker and yeah something like this should work. Alright so let's reset the camera. Let's continue adjusting this just a little more. A font icon would be maybe something like a cube. We can convert this into a subdivision surface again. And then, yeah, I guess we can just have a segment here and then we can, so I can just extrude this, something like that. And then I can have another segment so I can create like the, the other part of this. And then they will, this will be something like another extrusion here. And then uh, we can have uh, another look right in the middle and then we can move everything to this side. Let me just re reset my camera. And then we can select all of these. Then we, we can move it a little to this side. And then we can select all of these and we can move it a little to this side. And then this, uh, this one here and this one here and this one here and this one here, I think they need to be more like this. And then let's just make this a smaller. Yeah, let's rotate this a little bit to be more like this. I think that's fine. I want to have this material that I changed, that I created before, and then uh, I can just. This is going to be purple, purple bright, and then I want to assign the same material, but then I want to detach and create another material for this. This is going to be a green bright, and then let's just change the color here. So this can be maybe more greenish, like this, and then on this side also green but darker, I think, or maybe not too dark actually be like that as well why not and perhaps uh, I think there's some mixing happening so maybe we can use also green color in this, star, this this part as well but I think it's actually maybe too bright in here so maybe let's just make it a little darker and that will be more interesting and also here it could be more light uh, we can also try uh, making the background a little uh, more neutral so it works for for both of the icons right so for our final icon i think it would be nice to create something like a camera icon so then again i'm just going to duplicate this object in here and um, for this case i think it will be more like a gray color by the way you can see that i have like this purple layer here i actually don't need this one here so i can use uh, just like a gray color here now and then i can use i think like a darker gray color in here so actually let's just maybe make it a little more bluish because I think we have like this purple tone in everything right now. So maybe this could be a little more kind of like purple bluish. All right, so now let's just create our camera. So our camera is gonna be um, something that we can create using the vector tools. So I'm just going to start at the top and then I'm going to create another point and another point and another point. I'm just going to repeat this process until we have like the base shape of the camera which is definitely not like this but <laughs> now let's just uh, select these points um, maintaining the axis and then I'm going to do the same for this and then here as well I think something like that now I think the camera um, might be a little like some angle in here so it will be something like that and then maybe something like this and I think everything could be a little more like this finally I think we should have like some sort of um, corner to everything perhaps like this by the way, if you want to uh, make this into the center, what I can do is I can basically just move everything to be somewhere around there. And then I can move this object here. And then I can add destruction for this. So it's going to be something like this, I think. Not too much. Some bevel and then some bevel size. So I want to have a couple of more items in here. So I want to create a cylinder, which is going to be in here. It's going to be something like this. Then I want to duplicate this cylinder and make a uh, bigger and then I can add a hollow like this and then I can add corners like this. So this is looking uh, I think quite nice already. Let's make it smaller, maybe a little bit more right there. What we want is uh, maybe a little cube in here. Actually it could be another cylinder now that I think about it. Um, it could be right there. 
and then it could be like this and then we can add some corners so this is going to be like our button or something these two points they could have like less roundness so it could be something like this you can select points and then you can change the roundness um, we can also probably make all of these a little more to the top that would be better these points in here they could have a little more round corner something like 24 i think yeah and let's just now put this right there all right i'm just going to copy the materials and then i can just adjust the colors um, so let's just just copy the colors for now let's just detach and then uh, let's change this is going to be like a darker color i think it's going to be something like this and then uh, we can also change this to be like a darker color in here yeah. And for this, the same, let's detach and then let's change this to be more. Maybe this will be like a brighter color, I think. And then uh, something like this and then maybe something a little darker. And for this, I actually think maybe we don't need uh, this. So it could be more like a simple uh, dark color right there. And for this, it could be the same as this one here. So if we make like this, like a material, it's going to be gray then we can select this one in here for this one so that could work and so i'm just going to change the material here because i think that this one is not looking good right now i think maybe we need like more uh, darkness and i just i just need to change i think the position of this so it's a little more um yeah something like that let me just detach for now and then um, can work better. So I think it's more like this. You can see that because I'm using gray colors, uh, we don't get the interesting lighting. So actually I want to use maybe more like, a little more like purple-ish colors. So let's do that in all of them. So it's just a little purple-ish. And then the same for this one, a little purple-ish. I think it will be better. And then for this one as well, just a little purple-ish. And also for this one here. Again, a little purple-ish, a little purple-ish, maybe not too much, something like that. And for this color, trying to make sure that we have the same saturation or something like that. So the only thing that I think we are missing is maybe a little dot in here. So this is pretty much based on the Apple icon. So I think the Apple icons, there is like a little flashlight in here. So maybe we can have another uh, cylinder. It's going to be right here. Um, just a very, very simple thing, but it's like a little yellow light that could be there. This could be like this and maybe uh, some corner. And we can also use 60 and then like a darker yellow. Yeah, maybe a little darker. Okay, that's better. Let's just put that maybe like this. So one thing I would like to do is uh, I would like to um, improve a little the color in this icon. So basically I just want this to be brighter. Maybe a little smaller, like this. All right, so that's how you can build your 3D icon set. I hope you like this tutorial and this can help you make your own icon sets. Maybe you can add more icons. You can continue your design system in 3D with these you know, basic shapes and build like a more complex system in which you have all potential icons for your application or your 3D content. Yep, that's it. See you in the next time. Bye-bye.